All right. Let's get on. Let's get into the papers that we have for today, and um, we are going to go straight into dead dailies. Uh, my brothers joined me on the set this morning, looking as fly as usual. <laughs> the 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 suave extraordinaire is he's here. Yes, the, we're, four, we're, we're still doing this. Yeah, we're doing this. We're still doing we're this. We're doing this. Yes, <laughs> and I love the pink. I, I thought we were yeah. going past no, this. No, 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 we're not past this. No, no we, the, the pink we, is, we ain't ever going to go past this. It's, it's deliberate. It's deliberate. It's deliberate. You know, we're in the month of October. Yeah. And October is dedicated to, I hear people saying dedicated to breast cancer, but I feel it's it not, should be breast cancer awareness. awareness. Yes, yes, that's what it is. It's not Bre breast it. cancer awareness. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, the, the, the charge is simple. Mm. Get tested. Yeah. Go and have it checked. Yeah. Both sides, male Both sides, and female. Absolutely. Go and have it checked. Mm. And uh, let's be, just be sure. I heard you, I mean, put out some stats earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's quite important that people go out there and check and be sure mm. of, of their own status. Mm. Just, I mean, to keep safe yeah, yeah, yeah. and, of course, to yeah. live long. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, it will be quite sad uh, to see you lose your life to breast cancer or to even have... Something that could easily have been prevented exactly. if caught early. Exactly. Yeah. So, yes. Um, yeah. The pink today is very, very deliberate. It's okay. And but, of course. Uh, but they say real men wear pink, right? Yeah, that, that's what they say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's so scientific I guess, or... I guess that differentiates between you and I. <laughs> <laughs> I. I'm not sure if it's scientific, is it? But, no, yeah. It I mean, no, yeah. It's, it's uh, just like the one that said uh, uh, all men are... And uh, uh, All men are the same. <laughs> and we hear the person was standing in a queue in China. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's good morning to you out there. Uh, it's good to be here and it's good to have you. We have a number of stories making the dailies this morning. Yeah. I'll start off with a daily graphic newspaper. Front page major story has to do with the 2024 general elections. Mm. And it says election not a religious contest. GPCC to political parties. GPCC here being the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. Okay. So, yes, uh, that's a, a, a call to the politicians to, to stop meddling mm. or stop mixing politics with religion. Yeah. Of course, there are more stories in here. One to the top right-hand corner that says, Independent media regulation vital for clean election. This is attributed to Professor Berger. Um, Ashanti Bauxite Limited unveils a mine refinery plans. Okay. And then there's a big one, a major breakthrough, especially for players in the waste management uh, sector. Space, okay. And this has to do with Zoom Lion making inroads in Nigeria and, of course, oh, yeah. uh, in the international space. A mm. major, major, major breakthrough that says Zoom Lion Nigeria secures a 40 million euro waste management deal. Oh, nice. And so this is actually an agreement signed between two German entities and it looks to export waste management services and equipment. Okay. So yes, I mean Zoom Lion Nigeria being a subsidiary of the Jospon Yeah, the Jospon group. group. Now, big story on the back page of the Daily Graphic. Torrential rains cut off Nandom and Wa. Whoa. Torrential rains yeah. cut off Nandom and Wa. So we're experiencing dry spells somewhere. Yeah. And, then and then some places are also heavy rains too many elsewhere. Rain, too, too much rain, yeah. Exactly. And then there's this one, quite a sad one, that says assault victim needs urgent support for emergency surgery. Assault oh, no. victim needs urgent support for emergency surgery. That will be all for the Daily Graphic newspaper. All right. Let me take you to the Ghanaian Times. Mm -hmm. And it says here on the front page of the Ghanaian Times, Zoom Lion strikes uh, 40 million euro waste management deal with two German companies. That's the same story you brought mm -hmm. us on the Daily Graphic. We have... Upcoming polls, we are fully prepared for elections. The IGP is speaking here. We also have uh, don't undermine electoral process and subvert will of electorate. This is um, Togbi Salud III to politicians. We also have regarding the illegal mining menace, stop mm -hmm. Galam safe fight, blame game. Professor Boating, Douglas Boating, there speaking. So that's what we have mm. from the front page of the Ghanaian Times. It says 59 more days to election mm. 2024. Yeah. I think I, I subscribe to the prof's call. Mm. 
we, we shouldn't be playing blame game yeah. with the Galamsey issue. It's almost um, childish. It's, it's infantile. Exactly. And then you it's hear infantile, comments such honestly. as, uh, and you destroyed the yeah, water yeah, yeah, more than yeah, we, we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it basically you're yeah. you admitting yeah. to the distraction, yeah. but then telling us that somebody did worse than yeah, you did. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, see the logic yeah. in that. And also, and also, let's be real. It's never been this bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's true yeah. that I'm saying has existed mm. for what 30, 40, 50 yeah. years, maybe even beyond that, but in a certain form. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've seen it for you that's know, because the year. level of impunity we are witnessing but now was not the same like as before. Yeah. Yesterday on it's X, our, like our, our, our social media team mm -hmm. put out mm -hmm. a thread yes. chronicling our, events our, our uh, efforts, or our efforts yes. throughout the years, mm. and, and it's funny, it's been eight years yeah. already. Already, yeah. Yeah. The hashtag Stop Galamsey yes, yes, yes. Now was created in ago. 2016. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I was eight years CBS ago. at that time. Yeah. You know, so I yeah. remember that. I remember that very well, you know. And, um, <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's. So yeah. let's stop playing the blame yeah, yeah. game. Let's, yeah. I mean, let's. Let's be decisive with our actions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw the statements by a government uh, in response to uh, organized labor, <laughs> and I think it was a wishy-washy. No, it was. It, 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 it was. It does not. It, there was nothing new in yeah. there um, that doesn't already mm. exist. You know, when you say deploy river wardens, mm. the deployment of river wardens. Oh, this was done what two years ago. We had no. We had a photo op. <laughs> of river or wardens, they never got into any water bodies. So you see, the, the thing about us and fanfares, yeah, pump and pageant. No, no, no. The river water, we are no action, them. and we took pictures, but they never got onto any water body. And now we are saying we are deploying river wardens again. Where are the drones? It's a good question. <laughs> Where are the boats? The, we have a long way to go. Where are the naval and you see, boats? And you see, now, now, well, well there's hmm. this thing that has crept in, where. Uh, party in power yeah. is uh, sort of attributing the, 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 the rehash or the rebirth mm. of the campaign mm. to a deliberate attempt by the opposition to, to create and, disaffection. And when you hear party executives such as uh, K. Jemfua yeah. speaking and yeah. saying that they would not do this, it will have to wait yeah. until after yeah. elections. Yeah. I mean, you want to yeah. sacrifice. No, it, 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 seems, it seems like they don't get it. If this is zero. They don't get it. This they, is no, serious. they don't get it. For let, them, it's all a game. They don't get it. Let, let's get into more of their stories yes. because um, there are other arms or legs uh, yeah, to the to Galamse yeah. issue. Because mind you, organized labor strike is coming on tomorrow. Okay. And so there are other, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> other uh, stems or, or, or if you like uh, branches yeah. coming out of it. Okay. So I'll take you to the Herald newspaper. Front page says NPP plots to buy out Ekwiadonko and Kofi Akbalu out of 2024 elections, as Chairman Woon to me threatens to shift NDC's ballot position. Well, I'm not sure how he's going to do that, but uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Military keeps senior retired officers beyond mandatory age limits. Um, you get highlights of the NDC and MPP manifestos on education in the paper on page 12. Okay. Okujetua Blackwa and Dr. Clementa Park hit back at Napo on LGBTQI plus curriculum in basic school. Medical Association President faces impeachment over unilateral Galamse strike boycott. Mm. So this is one of the arms of the Galamse story that I was uh, making reference to okay. earlier. You know, Organized Labour uh, issued a September uh, deadline and, uh, uh, for uh, uh, government to act. Yes. Government failed to act. Yes. Then there was a meeting between Organized Labour yes. and government. Yes. Uh, after which meeting, Organized Labour met again mm. and declared a strike on October 10th. 10th, yeah. Now, Organized Labour has members that cut across all different or, 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 spheres. Exactly, of, of yeah, the public sector. Yeah. And the Ghana Medical Association is one of such bodies mm. that is under yeah. the umbrella of Organized yeah. Labour. And, um, and they were the one of the early ones to speak. Exactly. On this Galapagos issue. One of the very early ones to yeah. issue a statement, yeah. uh, calling for the ban, mm, actually, mm. and of course making some recommendations based on their own findings yeah. on the impact of illegal mining on our, on health. Health, on yeah. our health. And so um, yesterday, uh, during the day, somewhere I think before noon, yeah. um, a GMA statement came, came out, out from the president, Dr. Frank uh, Srebo, um that says they had not um, fashioned out a roadmap yeah. yet. Yeah. And so members of the Ghana Medical Association should remain mm. at post. Mm. 
we were concerned because yeah, then it's like we, we were hoping there will be unison Thank among you. leadership Thank of you. organized labor yeah. and so that uh, i mean since negotiations have failed mm. this action will force the hand of government exactly. to act but then this came it was a shock to yeah. some me especially because yeah. i was wondering <laughs> okay <laughs> if this is happening where right? from this yeah. right and then later in the day mm. Um, we received another statement which came from a member yeah. of the Ghana Medical Association yeah. seeking the impeachment of the president mm -hmm. and accusing him of taking a un unilateral decision, decision. Yeah. without coming back to the executive committee yeah. or the general assembly of the GMA yeah. uh, to seek their input uh, regarding this sta the earlier statement mm. that says that um, members of the GMA should remain uh, at post. Yeah. But you see, whether we like it or not, yep. the inclusion or otherwise of the GMA in this organized mm. labor uh, mm. a, a, a strike is quite significant. Yes, it's critical. We, we cannot yeah, yeah, yeah. understate it yeah. or underemphasize yeah. it. Yeah. it. It is critical. And so we want to see how this will play out. I think the GMA goes to Congress somewhere in November. Okay. So if anything, that is when this particular petition for impeachment mm. uh, will have some effect effect if, yeah. okay all right interesting well so um off the back of that story let me give you the one from um a couple of other papers carry it mm. um so we won't join anti gallam say strike this come from gma but of course we know it's not the entire gma um but, but then again you see this headline yeah. it's uh, because the gma did not state did, did, emphatically did, 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 that it would not join yeah, it yeah, says yeah, it yeah. hasn't come out with a road map yeah, yeah. for the strike to yet. that to that yeah you, you get it i yeah. mean the gma knows the essential services yeah. they provide and if you know the history of strikes within the health sector, mm. you know that there's always a roadmap which will ordinarily begin with a withdrawal of services at the OPD. Be, yes. And then, of course, uh, they stop attendance to mm. outpatients. Then there will be that of inpatients yeah. before there will be a total, yeah, total laydown of, of their yeah. tools. And so I, I'm sure this is the roadmap mm. that yeah, Frank, yeah. Dr. Frank Sribo is referring, is referring to. to. Until such a roadmap is drawn, mm. then they've asked workers or, or yeah. members of the GMA to, to remain at post. Keep, yeah, but keep. they have not said that they will not be part of the strike. Of the strike. Yeah. Perhaps the roadmap can come out today. It's and true. tomorrow they join the strike. That's true. That's it could come up tomorrow morning yeah. and they join the strike. Yeah. And so I, I'm not too sure about this headline. Okay. Yeah. The, the Ghanaian publisher chooses to say GMA snubs anti Gadam say strike. Hmm. And it has pictured there as well. Uh, Dr. Dr. Shrebo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the uh, Chronicle says, economy back to pre-COVID era. The minister is speaking, mm. um, but he has photographed the, uh, the deputy finance minister, Alex Ampabe. Mm. Um, organized labor strike collapses is a question that um, Chronicle is asking. Mm. Central region will become tourism center under Alan Cash. And um, that's uh, Kwame Usudan, so the being quoted mm. just one takes as nine, a running mate yes the running mate of, of um Alan yes the afrofanto mm. people yeah uh, just one takes nigeria market by storm and strikes their 40 million euro mega deal with mm -hmm. german coins for um, waste management mm. and um the 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 scripture for today is a little bit um, ineligible but i think i know what it is habakkuk <laughs> two three it says, for still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It mm. will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. Mm. It will not delay. And that's what um, the Chronicle is choosing to use as the scripture for I hope the you day. understand times and seasons. Uh, You'll be able to comprehend this. So <laughs> <that's fine. laughs> All right, a quick one in the news center. The news center newspaper mm. says, police recruitment exams set for Saturday. Uh, Northern region sees major progress in education, health, roads, and other infrastructure. Okay. Insurance brokers ensure best terms for insured, for the insured free of charge. Uh, this is attributed to an Ali Shaibu. Okay. Ghana Ice Regional Tech Skills Hub with digital youth hubs in Accra, Cape Coast, Kumasi, and Tamale. Dr. Abdul Hamid Ahmed at Africa Public Sector Awards in Botswana. 
That's okay. it for the news center, the news center newspaper. All right, let me just give you a few here um, on the custodian. We have, uh, we won't be part of labor strike. Again, this is be, quoting the GMA. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Digital Youth Hub Ready in December. Okay. And it's coming from the Vice President. Mm. Zoom Lion Nigeria signs $40 million dollar, a million euro deal with mm. FEMA Industries and AF, FAUN Germany. Mm. Uh, it says MPA boss honored at Africa Public Sector Awards and Northern Region gets massive mm. government projects. Mm. All right, so that's what we have for the custodian. Right, if you go to the new publisher, there's mm. an interesting write-up by Bishop Adai Mensah, okay. who captions its history of Galamse. Mm. 19 illegal miners were killed and their bodies dumped into unused mining pits. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know this history. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So you, you might want to grab a copy yeah. of the new publisher and get the details okay. therein. Afpenyo wow. Markin meets a Futu fisher folk. And I'm wondering why the, the, the majority leader is pictured here in a duku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or is this a turban? Oh, it's a turban. This is a, a turban. It's a turban. Uh, it looks like some... A duku is different. It looks like a fishmonger's cloth. That uh, he has <laughs> really? Uh, that he has tied around uh, it. It's a half piece. Half piece. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it for the new publisher newspaper this morning. All right. Yeah. The Accra Times says Ashimo vows to secure more seats for NDC as he aims to increase the seats mm. to 25. Okay. We have uh, Mahama pledges to restore Ghana. Next NDC government, I quote, will put Ghana back on her feet. Mm. Zanetto weeps over Galamse Menes. And uh, we have Nalerigu Nal gets 400 ton waste recycling facility. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's what we have there. Oh, um, Arthur, um, Arthur Kennedy mm -hmm. is saying here, free the citizens. Okay. Yeah, it's an article in the paper, in the Accra Times. Well, okay, coming yeah. off that, I'll take you to the Republic Press. Okay. Where back a Voma war mm. in limbo as bill requests false flats. Okay. Ghana returns to international financial market after successful $13 billion euro bond restructuring. GMA defies labor strike, urges members to work on Akbalu confident of victory after two prophetic dreams. Who, who, who was the one dreaming? Or is he the one dreaming or somebody dreamt on his, you know? Whoever is dreaming, probably sleeping too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying this because to win elections, you need to, I mean, be on the ground yes. doing some proper yeah, campaigning yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that. We've not seen that and, from and have, Akbalu. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Mm. Uh, unless, of course, there's a Joseph in his camp that is dreaming and interpreting same for him. I'm not sure how this is possible if you're laid back and well, want to win. Even the two largest parties. Well, you know that the Bible also says that dreams come about as a multitude from a multitude of business, right? So right. Yeah, when you are busy bodying yourself around, maybe you can also create the dreams. So we I wish him all I the best. Yeah. We wish him all yeah. the best. This one is from Pastor Mensa Otabel, and he says, God's not in charge of elections. Yeah, he actually said yesterday as well yeah. that uh, God doesn't choose presidents. Exactly. Um, for, for, for countries. Yeah. So you see, the dreamer, no? Mm. <laughs> okay, you let me leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from Opoku, you know, that says, uh, keep 2024 presidential election prophecies private. Opoku, you know, to clergy. I, I'd want to agree with mm. that as well. Mm. We don't want to be seen to be creating unnecessary tensions. Yeah within the space. We yeah. have, what, 59 days now? Yep. 59 elections. days. 59 yeah. days. Let, let, let's limit the publication of well, the prophecies mm. as we get them. Yeah. I am sure that when the prophecies come, uh, we should be praying for wisdom on how to communicate the mm. prophecies mm. in order mm. not to mm. stir public anger mm. against one party mm. or mm. the other or mm. create any unnecessary tensions. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 No, I, you know, people do get a lot of mileage out of doing these kinds of things because yeah. it's sort of, um, if it does come to pass, if what you said mm. comes to pass, then it's yeah. like, Charlie, you're the big deal, you know. Uh, Yesterday I was listening to... In your word uh, lies truth. In your mouth lies truth. Or a, a discussant on one of the yeah. other stations. Uh, okay. The analogy he sought to make, yeah. linking these prophets and their prophecies mm. to the benefits they derive of them. Uh, so, yeah, okay. I think it, it falls in line with what, okay. what, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. 
I, anyway. I, I don't know if the prophecies are for commercial gain. but it, They shouldn't be, but hey, I don't know. People, you know, they'll right. do what they'll do. Okay. The, the ABC News, uh, there's one big headline here that I want to say, uh, bring to us. It says, call of intended sm uh, strike. Mm. This is coming from the small scale miners. Uh, they're appealing to organize labor. Mm. Yeah, so that's... Is it the, the, you know, a number of groups are, are springing up regarding mm. this matter. Yes. Is it the Small Scale Miners Association, the Concerned Small Scale Miners Association, it, yeah. or the Responsible Small Scale yeah, Miners because Association? Because are different groups. Because there's a group <laughs> that is threatening to hit the streets on Friday. Yes, to protest. And they are known as the Responsible Small Scale Miners mm. Association. Mm. So I think when we are carrying the stories, we should be able to boldly well, this identify. This one says the Ghana National Association of oh. Small Scale Miners. And th th so this would be Godwin's Association, I, I presume. Um, let me see. So that, that, that's, that's what yes, I, Gordon Amma. Gordon Amma, yeah, right. Yeah, the so General then that's Secretary. the Ghana National yes. Association, Association of Small Scale, scale Miners. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, they are just pleading with organized labor mm. to revoke uh, and their, you, yeah, their you can action. You can understand saying because mm. they are licensed small yeah, scale yeah, miners yeah, yeah, yeah. doing legitimate mm, yeah. or legal uh, mining. But I would, plead, I would rather plead with Gordon Amma and mm -hmm. say that for the sake of where we find ourselves, yeah. it's crunch time. Yeah. Um, we do need to do things urgently yeah. and swiftly. Mm -hmm. It's not time to, you know, take off the kid gloves yeah. and let's deal with it hard, mm. right? And so I think you should rather join the fight and let's deal with it mm -hmm. harshly, drastically, draconian. You borrowing the minister's words <laughs> dra in a draconian style. Let's right. deal with it and mm -hmm. then quickly revert yeah. back to you know, a place mm -hmm. where your organization, the yeah. small scale miners, yeah. can actually function properly yeah. and smoothly. I think the earlier we agree yeah. on what yeah. we want yeah. to yeah. do yeah. with yeah. this menace, mm. the better for all of mm. us. Mm. And then all parties involved can return yeah. to their legal means of going about yeah. their business. Yeah. 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 I want to do a couple of online stories for sure. us. Why not? You know. um, so we have uh, Dumso imminent in mm -hmm. Konongo. As Galam says, invade Gritco site within northern Ashanti mines. There we go again. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so you see, it's affecting all facets. Every, every, everything. It's affecting everything and everywhere. You know. Um, Galam say, more stories. Galam say, miners. Uh, small, scale, small scale miners to protest against. This is the one you were talking yeah, about. So this the will be the responsible against, small scale miners. Okay, organized mm -hmm. labor strike. And um, Gawu directs members to stay off work on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So Gawu is yeah. speaking up yeah. off the back of GMA saying, mm -hmm. continue yeah. going to yeah. work. You know, Gawu is saying that. Poo also mm -hmm. spoke. Yeah. Poo also came out and to, to speak as uh, well. Uh, and and I, I must chip in here mm, at this mm, point mm. that for the University Teachers Association of yes, Ghana, yes, UTAG, yes. they've put it to vote on their various <coughs> campuses. Yes. Results started trickling in as of yesterday. Okay. And it, it looks like uh, they are more tilted to join in to the, join strike the strike yeah. th rather than abstaining mm. from it. Mm. The results are coming in from the various campuses uh, and it looks like yeah, UTAG will be joining organized labor tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. You, you know, and, and just a quick one, uh, I don't know what you think of this. I, didn't, I don't know if you saw the, the social media um, footage of um, Maxwell Juma. Kobe Juma? Yeah. Yeah, warning his staff yeah. uh, not to partake. Yeah. Uh, that, that's Gehok, right? Gehok, yeah. That if <laughs> they strike, if they go on strike, he will sack anybody that goes on strike, he will sack them. But you know that's illegal, right? But we, yes, exactly. That's actually so illegal. That, you can't do that. And that is one of the instances you, where you can actually test the yeah, law. Yeah. And then and these are also instances where you need the National Labor Commission to, to be firm. Yes. Uh, and to be, I mean, yeah. seen to be doing what it's mandated to do. Yeah. Because once they've been notified, mm. you, you understand that this is not your typical employer-employee no. dispute. Yes. You get it. Yes. This is a, 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 a protest in demand mm. of a general good. Yeah. Uh, you understand. And so the National Labor Commission will not necessarily have a role to mm. play. This is a direct employer, uh, government and labor issue. Yeah. But if such warnings are being issued by management mm. Of, of institutions where members of organized labor work, yeah. then the national labor should be able to, to act yeah. on such matters. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, David. All right. So that's been the news review segment, newspaper review segment. Uh, we're going to go for sports next.